So when we talk about Street Fighter, we really want to focus in on the D-pad and what I'm doing here, as well as when I'm pushing the face buttons. So, for example, with a Dragon Punch, I've gotten a, a few messages on Twitter. Not a lot. The channel's not huge, but we're growing. <laughs> but I did get a few messages about people dropping their inputs, not getting the Dragon Punch out. And for those of you that are following this channel, many of you are Mortal Kombat players, and the inputs and the way that they're executed in Mortal Kombat are similar in some ways to Street Fighter, but they're also very different. And this is something that you're going to need to understand in order to execute properly. So one of the things with Street Fighter is that it registers your D-pad inputs for much longer than you may think. So what a lot of people try to do, for example, say they want to link in combo or finish their combo with like a, a crouch medium into the Dragon Punch, right? So what they try to do is they try to hit the crouch medium and then Dragon Punch and like it doesn't come out. It's like very difficult to, to do that, right? I can't even do it right here. I can get the standing. It's not working real well. But there is a shortcut in order to do that. And this is the way that I input it, and it comes out relatively every time. You want to roll the first part of the DP and then hit your medium, right? So you would basically be rolling from forward to down and hit your medium punch, right? So that's, that's the first part. So it looked like that. Now, after that, that hits, you go right into your down forward and fierce. And the game registers your inputs rolling down. The medium punch still comes out, but it registers the D-pad inputs and the face button inputs or the attacks separately from the D-pad in many instances. And this is one of them. So again, you would roll, hit it, and then bam, right to your down forward and fierce. And it looks like this. All right, very easy, very simple, very clean. It comes right out. All right, you just roll down, hit the medium, then down forward fierce. Now, the combo that we were talking about in particular is this combo here that I was doing. And someone was asking, well, why, why isn't my DP coming out? And they were hitting down medium and then trying to DP. And you can do that. You can see I did just get it, but you also get inputs like that where it messes up because it's much more difficult of an input. And sometimes the game will register a DP when you do that as this, as down forward, down forward, fierce, or your, your critical art special. So it's much better to roll and then bam, right? That's the way you want to really do that. Bam, comes out every time. Roll, bam. Right, so again, that's roll down medium, down forward fierce. So one of the things that I've noticed as well that is a very common input error, and you might notice this yourself, is when you want this, so like down medium kick into the fireball, you might sometimes get this. Right, you're like, oh man, and it's on block, and you're like, I didn't mean to DP, it just came out. Well, what you're actually doing there is you're doing the same exact thing that I just taught you to do in combo, but you're doing it in neutral. And what you're doing is you're oftentimes kind of trying to like jock for position, and then you walk up, and then you hit down medium, and then go into your fireball, but what's actually coming out is your, your DP, right? So that's why that happens. So if you're holding forward, and you want to do down forward or down medium into a fireball, what I often do in that situation, if I'm if I'm going forward, I'll slam the controller to down back. And the reason why I slam it to down back is because I won't get the DP. So I'll walk forward, down back, and then go to that. Right, so you have to be very cognizant of where your thumb is on the D-pad before you link these special moves, because again, the game will register those inputs much longer than you probably think that they will. So there's also ways to get the DP to come out from a crouching position, right? So what would be the advantage to DP from a crouch? You might be thinking, and you may be thinking, well, how the hell can I DP out of a crouch if I have to hit forward first, right? It starts with forward, so I have to be standing, but you actually don't. You can crouch, and if you notice, I will buffer my DP right here. I'll just do this. And you can see the inputs on the screen right there. I'll actually blow that up so you can see it. I actually just roll this down forward and it's just there. 
See, and it just comes out. And he comes out from a crouch position. Now you might be thinking, well, what is, what is the benefit of that? And I'll show you what my uh, D-pad and my inputs look like here as I shrink back up. So it just looks like this. I'm just buffering and it just comes out. Right? I'm not standing up, I'm still crouching, and I can do that the whole time. So if I'm anticipating a jump in, or I'm just chilling right here, boom, DP, right? The advantage to being crouched is that it lowers your hitbox. So it gives you more time to get the DP out if someone is trying to jump in on you. It also works going on cross-ups, right? So a lot of times with a cross-up, they hit kind of high, right? It's like hitting at the top of my head when you go to cross somebody up. And if I'm crouched and I see that you go for a cross up, I can just do this, but then as you go for the cross up, change my direction, right? And just DP the other way. So that's a way to um, get people out of using cross ups against you as a Ryu character or a Ken character that can get these guys out of the air and stop jumping. There's also some more in depth ways, uh, more, we'll say, um, technical ways to get your enhanced DP out to blow up gaps safely. I shouldn't say safely, but with lower risk. And we'll have to go over that once the game comes out because I need to set up the practice dummy in order to show you how that's really executed. And basically what it allows you to do is have the um, invincible DP come out if there's any type of gap in their string when it's on block. And if it's a string that doesn't have a gap, you'll still block. So it's kind of like an option select where the DP will come out, but it'll only come out if there's a gap. Now you can't, they, they can bait you. So they could go in and hit like jab and block and then bam, your, your DP comes out, they block it and they punish the crap out of you. So it's not foolproof, but it's a very good tool to have and to reduce your risk while taking a risk in this game. So we'll get to that in the future. If you like this video, be sure to click the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you get updated whenever I post new content. I hope this was helpful. I'll try to do more videos like this, more tutorial videos, tips and tricks, uh, you know, things that will help you become a better Street Fighter player. And I know that many of you on this channel are not as familiar with Street Fighter uh, as you are with Mortal Kombat. So hopefully these videos will allow you to get better. We can all level up together as we both learn together. So as always, I want to thank you guys for checking in. It's Jay Glee signing out and continue to game strong.